This is WordPress Plugins A to Z. It's episode 326, and we've got plugins for system and server monitoring, user emulation, dating sites, a band cart chat bots, and Devin Zapier integration. It's all coming up next on WordPress Plugins A to Z. WordPress. It's the most popular content management and website solution on the internet. And with over 60,000 plugins to choose from, how do you separate the junk from the gems? Join John Overall and Marcus Couch for this weekly unrehearsed conversation about the latest and greatest in WordPress plugins. This is WordPress Plugins A to Z. Well, good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you happen to be coming from. Hiding out there in the globe today, coming to you direct from the Brewery Overlook in beautiful Brit Victoria, British Columbia. I'm John Overall. And from the land where telephones don't ring like that, Yep. I'm Marcus Couch. And that's what happens sometimes. Live, live <laughs> and ready to rock and roll. All right. Well, right off the top here, let's go ahead with, uh, you can get all the show notes over at WPPlugins, A to Z dot com. And if you got a couple of minutes, we greatly appreciate your time over at Stitcher Radio, Google Play, and the iTunes Store, leaving us review and subscribing to the show there. And go check out our training videos, screencast, and watch us live on YouTube every Monday morning at 10 a.m. PST, Pacific Standard Time. And of course, you can always follow the show on Twitter at WPPlugins, A to Z dot com, or A to Z. That's right. And listen, hey, John, you and I know that this is actually a record month for us on this podcast. So we'd like to thank everybody that's out there. Uh, we are getting tremendous downloads for the show for the month, and it's it's obviously going to continue. But f So for all of you new people that have subscribed, uh, we hope you enjoy the show and hope that you'll review us on iTunes. We greatly appreciate that. Oh, absolutely. And of course, uh, you can subscribe to our newsletter also where you can get more news information and tidbits. Yes. Of course, right off the top here, let's uh, get started diving into this. With all that said, um, we're going to dive right into our show and the plugins, and off we go. All right, first up, I have a couple of plugins, and it was a request from a listener out there who sent it in, Kent Smith. He's look, he was looking for a status plugin that would show a status page similar to the page that's created by WooCommerce. And if you've never looked at the status page that WooCommerce has when you're checking it out, you should check it out. It gives some really good information about your site, the server, memory usage, et cetera, et cetera. And so what I did was I did some digging to see if I could find something that might suit what he was looking for. He said he'd found some, but not, not exactly. So I hope these aren't the same plugins, Kent. But if they are, well, sorry about that. So the first one I've got here is called Server Status. And it's a pretty simple plugin. And it's the first of the couple that I found. It creates a simple page of stats on about your plugin. It puts all the information into the dashboard of your site and it goes through and it tells you memory usage, uh, system health, uh, server status, server monitor. It's got a lot of the good basic stuff, tell you the PHP you're running and the WordPress version you're using. Not as much information as I'd hoped, but all in all, still a pretty good plugin to give you some quick rough and ready stats right there on your dashboard in a block on your dashboard. Have a look at it. It's a pretty decent plugin. I give it a three dragon rating and it's called server status. Very nice. All right. Uh, the first one out for me is called fast user switching. It is by a company called Teak web and they're out of Denmark. And what this allows you to do, I've reviewed similar plugins to this in the past. This is pretty good though as far as what it does it allows administrators to impersonate any user on the site so you can choose to impersonate a particular user just by clicking impersonate in the user list and it actually logs in as that user and then you can check out the site based on what that particular person 
or roll has. And it's really, really convenient for testing different users. Now, I am using this actually for a brand new membership site that I'm putting together for a client. And this really, really foot the bill for me. So I love it. It's called Fast User Switching. Really easy way to see what different rights and permissions within the user base or site. And I rated this one a four out of five. Oh, that's a very nice plugin. It would definitely help you when you're dealing with uh, when you're dealing with uh, membership sites to make sure that it works correctly for your various member levels. So you just create yourself the sample user at those membership levels. Make sure it's doing all right. Yes. Save you tons of time and effort and headaches. All right. That's what we're all about. Absolutely. That's what we're job. Our our job here is to help save you time and money. And with that being said, this show sponsored by the following people and or businesses. And first off, uh, sponsored by johnoverall.com, WordPress and, Word, and web services. And is it time to update your website, moving, in, moving your site to a new host or simply sorting out some of your long neglected plugins? I can help you with all that and more. Johnoverall.com web services can help you sort your WordPress problems from finding that perfect plugin to helping you move to a new hosting provider or even, pro or even providing quality WordPress hosting. With 20 years experience online and over eight years dedicated strictly to WordPress, johnoverall.com provides all your web service needs from hosting to WordPress development, repairs, and even emergency WordPress support. Visit my website at johnoverall.com, call me 818-850-7729, or send an email to john at wppro.ca. And if you're listening to this show, you obviously have a passion for WordPress. Why not write about something unique within WordPress? I'm now the WordPress editor for Smashing Magazine, which is one of the biggest web design resources online. And I'm looking for folks to write great articles about WordPress. And this helps to get a lot of exposure to yourself and your work. And I'd like you to go to marcuscouch.com slash smashing. There's a video there that talks about the entire process and you fill out a quick form and it lets me know a little bit more about you, what you'd like to write about, and it'll get the ball rolling. So very easy to do. MarcusCouch.com slash smashing. And also you get paid. <laughs> That's the best part about it is earn some money. Earn right. some money while writing some articles. You know, you're writing that information anyway, putting it on your website, et cetera. Hey, share it and earn some money. Yes, and have some fun as your article actually gets translated into other languages, too. Oh, there you go. Now, there's a good bonus for you. Yeah. All right, next up in our plug-in lineup here, I've got the second of the system status plugins. Now, this one here is a whole lot better. It's called Simple System Status, and this plugin gives you a more complete picture of your site. It gets you almost everything that is produced in the WooCommerce status page. There's a couple of things that I think are WooCommerce specific that are not in this, but it tells you what the WordPress version is, your memory limits, what the usage is, time zones, permalink settings, more. It tells you all the theme information that's in the site, it uh, tells you a list of all the plugins. It includes the list of whatever plugins are in the MU folder or the must use folder. It tells you which plugins are active, which ones are inactive. It gives you the complete server info, the PHP info, the version, post limits, uh, memory limits. Uh, it checks your FSOC, curl, and SOAP to see if they're working. It tells you what kind of session info you have going. It even gives you a unique link to create an external page to look at if you need to submit this information to someone else. All in all, this is a pretty good plugin. I don't think it's quite perfect, but it's pretty damn close. And it does give quite a bit of information for those that need some quick information, like they're taking over a site or they need to find out what the site setup is. This gives you a really good, robust look at it. So go check it out. It's called Simple System Status, and I gave it a four dragon rating. So awesome. check it out. Very cool. Yeah, it's a really, this, one, this one's actually quite nice. I was kind of impressed with it. It's not the nice, clean, pretty interface that you get in in WooCommerce. It's all text, so you got to yeah. kind of read it. 
but it's still got all that information there. Nice. All right, let's talk about a new plugin that I love. It's called Recover Abandoned Cart for WooCommerce, and it's by an outfit called ChatX.ai, and they're from Bucharest, Romania. Now, here's what's cool about this plugin. It a totally favorite things and puts them together, which is WooCommerce and chatbots. I'm big into chatbots. I've said that on the show many different times. Here's how this works. It helps to recover abandoned carts on your WooCommerce store and Messenger chatbots to do so. So first and foremost, you have to set up an account at chatx.ai. No big deal. Easy to do. You're done in just a minute. Um, then you begin to track your store's abandoned carts and the related Facebook users. So this kind of does a, a double tap in terms of uh, who's on your site, all that. Um, how do you get them to actually like your page or like you know get their Facebook information? That's up to you on how you actually you can have them log in with Facebook or something like that within your site. Here's how it works. Once you get all that hooked up, after let's say X amount of hours from the time that they go to your site and put something in the cart and abandon it, uh, that X amount is determined by you. Your customer actually receives a message from your store's Facebook page, which also this requires a Facebook page, and it reminds them of the different products that they left in the cart. And the chatbot then tries to convince them to finish the order, and you have a lot of different options that you can do that with by giving them maybe a discount coupon for 5 or 10% off or something like that. Uh, scarcity, you can say, look, you know, you've only got two left. If you want it, it's ready for you. This takes the best of both worlds for me, WooCommerce and chatbots. I'm actively right now using this on one of my e-commerce sites, and I've seen it work. It's actually, I, I've seen four different times where it's gone out and messaged somebody about the cart being empty, and two out of those four actually went and made a purchase. So that's a 50% conversion of an abandoned cart. And if... It doesn't seem like a lot, but really, uh, that's two sales I wouldn't have gotten otherwise. And this thing has already paid for itself. So really nice plugin. It is called Recover Abandoned Cart for WooCommerce, and I rated it a perfect five out of five. That's an excellent plugin to have and an excellent way to increase the sales on your site. It's actually, yes. things like that have probably caught me once or twice, too. I start to do something, get sidetracked, I abandon, close my windows, and it's like, oh, what was I doing? And it's gone. Get a right. reminder, hey, oh, yeah, I did want that. Go back yeah. and finish it. So Yeah, yeah. and if you, there are plugins that actually do it with email, too. Yeah. And um, that's, that's something that you need to incorporate. Any little automated last second, last chance, whatever, second chance, whatever you want to call it, <laughs> that you can take another crack at your customer to actually close that cart uh, is best. So check it out. Absolutely. All right. Well, with that, uh, we like to uh, let everyone know we love with listener feedback and audio clips. You can leave listener feedback on our site via our contact page, the speak pipe down in the lower right hand corner, anything along that line there. And we do respond to it um, as best we can. And if you give us the right information, we'll put it right here in the show, share it with everyone, all the other listeners out there. So that being said, this is where we like to acknowledge the people who help support the show. This show is a value for value model, meaning if you get any value out of it, we ask that you please give some value back. And in that vein, we'd like to acknowledge all those who have supported the show in the past week. All donations above $50 are read out and their notes are published here with links back to wherever they want. For those who come in below, below $50, they'll remain anonymous and we thank you very much. This week's donors, we have $50 from Jez Webb Pty Ltd. And his note is, this donation is, behind, is on behalf of Kraka Surfcraft, which Jez Webb recently rebuilt because the CMS it was trapped in was nowhere near the flexibility of WordPress. So thank you very much, Jez. We really appreciate you. your support of the show. 
And a big thank you out there to our donors who came in under $50 and those who have set up weekly um, subscriptions. All of those small subscriptions are really starting to help the show out. And you It's can, a really nice website that he put together there. Oh, yeah. It's really quite sweet. Looks like a fun time surfing. So I'd like to showcase some of this stuff, too. That's the other bit. If you're looking on the live uh, YouTube stream or following the uh, uh, YouTube streams later on, you can see some of the stuff that we're talking about. Mm-hmm. And, nice. and there are some great ways you can support the show. Uh, we ask that you drop on over to WP Plugins, A to Z dot com, where you can go to our donate page and uh, leave some donations for us. And uh, many other ways you can support the show on the donate page. If you don't have money to support, we're always looking for help in many different areas. That's right. And, uh, you know, John and I have extended this uh you know, sponsorship or whatever you want to call it, donations for it, up until the month of December. So we're at record downloads. That's one goal that we wanted to accomplish in terms of this year. And the second one is actually getting it so that the show is self-sustainable. We're not quite there yet. We no. do need and rely on your absolute support to keep this show going. So please help us out. Also, remember, you can go to Patreon, uh, patreon.com slash WP Plugins. A to Z, and that link is also in the show notes. All right. And now we're on to our final set of plugins here for today. Now, the first one I've got here, it's Ren Couture. It's a dating site plugin. And when you're looking for plugins, you never know exactly what you're going to find. And it seems there's something for everyone. And because there are not enough dating sites on the internet yet, well, you might want to add your own to the crazy with this plugin here. It's a pretty decent plugin for the most part, being free and also having a premium version. The free version will allow you to set up a free membership dating site. It's got pretty much everything you need in there. You just can't charge for everything with the free version version of the plugin and there's a whole lot of additional features they've got tied to the premium version of it that I was checking out. All in all, it could be a fun plugin if you're looking to try and enter the dating site field, which is a pretty busy field, but uh, might be overcrowded or you never know, you might pick up some niche market in there and go after a niche marketing of dating. Who knows? At any rate, all in all, not a bad plugin, and I gave it a three dragon rating, and it's called Renkatur Dating Site. Nice. All right. Uh, a couple more of my favorite things here are bundled together in this plugin. This one is called CF7 to Zapier. And if, if you have heard of Zapier and you think, oh, it's Zapier, wrong. Uh, it's Z pronounced Zapier because the owner, uh, Wade himself, told me. Zapier makes you happier. That's how it works, <laughs> right? So uh, what Zapier is, is it's middleware. It's an awesome thing that you can go from one thing to another thing. Um, and here's how it works. So this one is contact form 7 to Zapier. It is by Vizier Software Studio in Sao Paulo, Brazil. And, you know, it, it's great. You can take... Contact Form 7, which is an awesome plugin used by over a million WordPress websites to use their, utilize their forms and things, and then Zapier to connect all the different kinds of apps and things. So you can join up Contact Form 7 and Zapier, and here's what you can do with it. Let's just say, John, I have a Contact Form 7 uh, form on my website, and I want to go to Salesforce, or I want to go to... Uh, Infusionsoft, or maybe I want to put a Google spreadsheet together that that harnesses all of the different results, or maybe I wanted to do something else based on the results that it gets in Contact Form 7, this is the plugin to do it. So if you've ever wanted to do any sort of automation or anything like that based on the results that a form do puts together on your site, this is it. Uh, I encourage you to check out Zapier.com, Z-A-P-I-E-R, and see exactly the different things that you can do with it. I know that there are several hundred different iterations of things that you can hook Contact Form 7 into. It's called CF7 to Zapier, and I rated this a 4 out of 5. Perfect. Well, thank you very much. And something I'd like to... Uh... Say real quickly, as I just looked over and noticed that we have some uh, people watching live. Thanks, Larry. Thanks, Sean. I see you made some notes there in the chat. And thank you very much for showing up and uh, listening to the show. Yes, thank you. It's all been great. 
All right. Well, that's about it. Closing out this episode here, I covered up service status, which I gave a 3-2, simple system status, which I gave a 4-2, and Ren Couture with the dating site plugin, which I gave a 3-2. And I talked about fast user switching, which actually gets a 4 out of 5. Uh, Recover Abandoned Cards for WooCommerce gets a 5 out of 5. And Contact Form 7 to Zapier gets a 4 out of 5. And, of course, closing out this episode, I would like to make some mention. Be sure to check out our YouTube screencast that goes up later. There's an add-on part that I've started adding on at the end of that screencast that uh, gives me a first impression of one of the plugins Mark has covered in the show. I'm kind of having fun with it. You might find it mm, so-so, but it's all right. It's not part of the main show anymore. And a note to developers out there, if you'd like to support the show, we and you would like to offer up a premium license to give away, please go to WPPluginsAtoZ.com plugin contest to submit that license key for us. And we will create a contest and add a note around it and promote your, your plugin. Beautiful. And uh, for those of you that are watching us on YouTube and... Uh, don't forget to check out the training videos. They've been kind of lax the last couple of weeks. It's been life has been a little bit hectic and getting back to them this week. And also that's pretty much it. News and information, other related stuff. Be sure to subscribe to our newsletter at WP plugins, A to Z.com and get all of the information and tidbits. All right. And that's all we've got for you now. Take care. Bye bye. Reminders for the show. All the show notes can be found at WPPluginsAtoZ.com. And while you're there, subscribe to the Thursday newsletter for more useful information directly to your email inbox. WPPluginsAtoZ.com is a show that offers honest and unbiased reviews of plugins by developers because you support the show. Help keep the show honest and unbiased by going to WPPluginsAtoZ.com slash donate and choose one of the weekly donation levels or make one that fits your budget. Help us make the show better for you by subscribing and reviewing to the show at Stitcher Radio, Google Play, and in the iTunes Store. You can also watch the show live on YouTube, check out the screencasts and training videos, and remember to subscribe to us on YouTube. Or follow the show on Twitter at WPPluginsA to Z. John can be reached through his website, www.johnoverall.com, or send him an email, john at wppro.ca. Marcus can also be reached through his website at marcuscouch.com or Twitter at Marcus Couch. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Thanks for listening to the show. This show is copyright by johnoverall.com. So until next time, have yourselves a good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you happen to be out there on the globe today. Okay, this is the part for those of you uh, watching this via the YouTube. Uh, we're going to see how well we do the plugin chosen for today's episode uh, that Marcus uh, reviewed and I have not had a look at yet. It's called Fast User Switching. And so what we're going to do is we're going to take a look take a look at that one. Go jump into my sandbox playground here. Go add new plugin. Dump it in. Search for it. Make sure we get the right one. More and more of that problem, man. That is so freaking annoying. By Ticky Web, because the one we want is fast user switching, and it's got a little red icon, and it's, it's all down here. It's nowhere near the top. You'd think it would be the number one, since that's what it is. WordPress search. All right. It's the one we want. Let's install it. Activate it up activated and I do have a sample user in here so we'll see how well it works so are there any settings for this plugin don't see any plugins uh, appearance users users new profile nope fast user switching okay so 
choose a user impersonator by clicking new impersonate list in the user list. So we got to go down to the user list. All users. We'll pop in. And there it is, impersonate. Okay, let's impersonate this user here. All right, so this is what that user sees on the site. No order made yet, and of course this is a demo site where everything is a bit of a mess. Pop into the front page. Okay, it's a good way to see what you've got. Customer login. We hit that, we should take us to the thing. Nope, we don't have it all here. Okay, so let's back up a bit. Downloads, dashboard, your password account details. Yeah, there you go, okay. Well, that's all right then. Apartments. So all of that seems to work real well, but how do you get back out of it? I missed that part. Pop in. Mm. Here we go. Oh, log out, and you're back. Oh, okay. So we log out from this user, and we don't have a log out button. But we can do this. We can just type log out and log out. Nope, still didn't log out. All right, so we don't have a log out button. All right, that would be my fault. So, okay. All right, there's log out. Okay. Yes. Firm log out. Let's see if it takes me right back to where I need to be. Hey, it does. <laughs> Sweet. That is actually very, very nice. Nice. He gave it a good rating. I like it. Absolutely. Definitely worth a four. All right. Well, that's it for today's uh, fun playtime in the zone. And uh, check it out. The fast user switching plugin. Pretty decent little plugin. All in all, not bad. That's all we got for you now. Take care. Bye bye. And we greatly appreciate everyone out there supporting the show. Go to WP Plugins, A to Z .com to support the show. Thank you very much. Have yourselves a good day. Bye bye.